Burrito farming is considered as one of the greatest and the uh, the fastest kinds of agribusiness with the very fast with the fastest returns, but can also be quite risky if you don't know what you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and uh, like, share. You've been taken through by Lamwa Vet Care, Vet Mwangi of Poultry Department, Lamwa Vet, Lamwa Vet, Lamwa Team of Vets. Now, Broya Farming is, okay, personally, as a poultry veterinarian, I'd, I'd uh, liken it to a Formula One car. There's no, there's no time for mistakes. Time is of the essence. You you have the least okay. This bud tends to the maximum you should have this bud is six weeks. But the shorter you have it, and having attained the market weight, you have double profit. One time, two feeds, three labor. Everything is on is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Broiler farming, you have zero chances of mistakes if you have uh, if you make mistakes you tend to have you'll get into high costs which had you been able to evade you're able to you'll be able to cut on costs and that's the our topic today how will you cut on cost on matters broiler farming today we are going to be talking about signals your bird is forever communicating. One talk it of health, temperatures, the weather will also, this bird will also tell you about uh, whether, the, whether the environment is okay. And proper management starts with noticing the broiler signals. Remember, when something goes wrong, high cost of High costs will come about and your profit margin will decrease. But when you have minimal cost, higher profit. It's a business. Remember that. Now, uh, let's talk of uh, you have your buds. Call them day old. You have the heat source. They come around the heat source. What is What are they trying to share to tell you the farmer? the heat is not sufficient what of if they get to the circumference or the outer sides of the brooder the heat is uh, you're cooking them instead of uh, like the heat is way it's way much so you need to uh, regulate your regulate your your um, your heat source had it been some gas brooder, the gas brooder you can maybe there's a there's a way you, you would regulate. If there's a charcoal burner, a charcoal jiko, charcoal burner, you need to make sure that you extend the size of the brooder. Has it a wallet for the infrared bulbs? You need to lift to lift the the wire. It's called a cable. You need to lift the cable to a point where the bulbs are comfortable the temperature is is at its best the other thing is temperature uh weather the weather when there's a draft you'll tend to find them run to one side which the draft is not getting to and these birds will they, that's that's some of the signals that they are sharing now in this poultry farm they are uh, they are there are things that you should also you should also consider. Remember, poultry management, a, a, a successful poultry farm, call it with a tune of a hundred, a thousand, hundreds of thousand frog sizes. Poor management, poor results, and losses will or might come about or even, even if not losses the the profit margin will be at its lowest because of the high costs well another thing what when you get into that poultry coop what are you seeing that's the that's the one of the things that you should also consider when you being the farmer when you the, uh, the, the some of the signals that you'll need to check on 
what am I seeing? What am I hearing? What is happening? Is there one side these birds tend not to like? You go there and maybe check. It could be maybe the place is dumpy. The ammonia levels of that point is at the extreme. So these birds will evade that place. What should I do? If you tend to go, if you go to that place that is damp and they don't like that place, you just cook, you move that place, you move that litter, and maybe replenish with fresh litter. If not so, you can if it is more of a uh, ammonia, consider more uh, ventilation. Uh, what of if it is spillage? What a spillage. Birds, birds, okay, uh, coccidia and other protozoan diseases. Damp, dampness in, in, in a poultry coop is a no, no, no. Make sure the place is like uh, not damp. Uh, uh, spillage of drinkers coop that wet litter remove and replenish with the dry one. And by that, you'll be able to have. Those are, uh, to, uh, those are some of the signals that birds tell you about. They constantly communicate. And if, you, if you're able to, to learn some of those signals, I guarantee you faster, more profit, and uh, blessings and forever blessings. Growth and more growth. Differences between abnormal Abnormal runny health droppings. Those are some of the those are some of the signals. That, that's one of the signals that when you move around the coop, you are able to you are able you are able to notice. Make a, a routine checkup uh, when you go uh, at different times. Notice say in the morning before feeding. Maybe you can do uh, around check whether how they are. If they are maybe funny sounds that they are producing, maybe it could be some dyspnea, some irritation, some labored breathing. You're able to notice that. So uh, have have a, co a continuous and uh, a way of even engaging your birds. You can go check, have random weights. That's also a signal. If you if you're able to to see there's one particular corner that is not that. That these birds are not, uh, they are not enough, or maybe they are scattered. Go to that corner. Maybe the drinker is has some airlock. If it is an automatic drinker, this bird will, will evade that place because the drinker they cannot have the have the uh, clean water. The maybe the feeders are empty. Maybe even your farm hand, uh, you tend to find a, a farm that. Has it has so many cuckoos? How so many chicken? And the fine and the farm hand, the relationship between the farm hand and maybe the the owner of the farm or even the fatigue is feeding birds from one end and on the other end is maybe fatigue. You won't even you won't even you won't even uh, supplement feed in those feeders. You never know. Just just have have a. Have a routine routine checkup to your birds. Inspect. Have a farm tour of the whole house. Maybe you can have it in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Go have a seat. Have a seat at the at the cup, uh, at the poultry coop. Just just do your check your notes. Whether you'll hear what you will hear, what you'll see, the droppings. You are able when you do that. You'll able to curl them. You like grade them. You have, say, a particular a particular se section of the of the poultry coop. You see the, the, the very small ones. Call them weaklings. Call them starvouts. Okay, starvouts are usually uh, uh, the on the very first week. You'll tend to find weaklings and uh, and starvouts. You are able, you're able to put them in one particular corner for closer monitoring, and by that you're able to you you will try salvage salvage the situation. 
uh, you'll tend to find maybe some at one point there you'll need to replenish some extra liter do that feeding you'll tend to find there is one particular portion part of of the poultry coop that they tend the the birds like most so you're able to maybe ha divide divide the poultry coop in sections and uh, uh, have have more more feeders on that particular part uh, so so that you'll have uniformity uh, how they are spread out how they are spread out will also will also will also share give you a, a uh, a way to understand how birds react, how the signals that they are giving. If they you'll tend, if they are mature birds, and then you'll tend to find some others are coming to, closer to the window, or maybe the ventilation. The ventilation, you question the ammonia. You maybe question uh, if they are moving away from the from the ventilation during the day. Maybe it could be even heat stress cold stress uh random random pickup will be able to uh, maybe assist you on uh, having uh, a, 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 a having a way on uh, uh, grading your buds you can have a, a random a random check pick one here at the middle at the at the far end do your weights have the average and with that weight you are able to grade your farming, your farm, and your farming uh, venture. If at all you have a, you you might be, you might be, you might need some vets. You can visit our website. Give us a call. Our 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 content our description in the description below. We'll be able to have as much of assistance as possible you'll pick a lot of a lot of signals during the day just make a visit to your farm while feeding them while culling them while having extra litter that's when you will tend to be more uh rate your your farm and have more business have more business don't forget to subscribe like if you have a comment leave it in the comment section if you have a if you'd like a farm visit to your farm our contact our contact is at the at the description below you can visit our office our offices are at the thicker along Gary's Road. see you in our, in your in our next video